Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. It's a, a real pleasure to see so many people here tonight. Um, yeah, I was telling uh, the other musicians playing here tonight that once that one was over, the rest is just going to be a fun time. So I, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a blast. Um, there's going to be some slow transitions here with, with all the different arrangements we've got. Um, but this is just like the most fun thing I could think of to do. Uh, for myself. So thank you for indulging me. Uh, this is Jake Zanstra. He's got to run. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. His girlfriend is waiting at a wedding right now. Um, and he's got it. Well, the wedding is over and the reception is over and she's just waiting there for you now. So you want to get this on with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jake and I have uh, known each other from college kind of, ish. Didn't start playing music together until a little over a year ago, I think, year and a half ago. Um, played for a while at a bar in Hastings. Um, we didn't get called back. <laughs> but we had a good time, and we got some free beer out of it, so that's what counts. Um, so here's a couple songs that we did. Got your mic set up. Good, good, good. There was a time when I was able to sit down at the table with the one that I love most in life. Now my day grown so bitter Lord knows it gets no better I'm so tired of being lonely all the time Someone near to hold when the night has grown so cold and I haven't got a dime. Just think of me and you'll think better, like a diamond that lasts forever. I'm so tired of being lonely all the time.
tired of driving down the same old street, the same old empty house greets me when I come home. And I'm so tired of waking up to old cold coffee I made yesterday, morning after morning. So if the feelings that I'm feeling Could bring you home to me this evening Long before the sun gives way To another lonely night I would shout and I would cry I would bid bad times goodbye Cause I'm so tired of being lonely all the time Kathy's been trying to set me up with her granddaughter for since the day we met, I think, which was not that long ago. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot more songs like that tonight, so hope you're ready for it. Um, most of the people playing tonight, I think, are, are kind of from like Christchurch circles. There's a few um, people that are not. One of those people is my very first piano teacher and huge musical influence in my life, Karen Van Acker. Um, growing up in Minnesota, I took piano lessons from you for a long time. Uh, you're my band teacher. Uh, violin for a second. Cello, trombone, yep. So singing, everything. Anything that has to do with music started with Karen Van Acker back in like, I don't know, third grade or something. So. Thank you. 
together several times at Grace Hill, the church plan. Um, you were playing piano, though. It was fun. Good times. Start off. It says Linda DeYoung is singing in your programs. Um, she came down sick recently, so about six hours ago, I checked if Vivian could do it, and she said yes. So this is our... No pressure now, Vivian. <laughs> Thank you. 
to myself I didn't want you around Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd But someone picked you from the bunch And glance was all it took Now it's much too late for me to take a second look
I've been saying something about all the people that I've played with so far. I've never played with David Molinari on, on uh, piano uh, until this. And Mark Lindell recommended him, and that's just like the most fun you could have in your life right there. <laughs> so give her on for David Molinari. <laughs> And now our biggest transition of the night. This will take a minute. That, that's you. That's you, Greg. Yeah, grab a stand.
two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Can we scoot down a little bit? Can you get a little closer to I got it. It's on both. Did you grab my tongue guard? You got it. Thank you. 
Give yourself a vocal mic in the answer. So this one? Yeah. Uh, big shout out to David Baker running sound in the back. And <laughs> Mary. I'm Mary. We got two people back there. Yeah, this is, this is easily the most complex sound uh, issue stuff that I've ever dealt with. So thank you for handling that, David. Uh, normally, Sound techs get a shout out at the end, but I just think they should be brought up earlier because they're great. So thank you. Thank you again. I get a lot of questions about what this cage is on the back of my instrument. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. It's called a tone guard, um, and it's to keep the back of the instrument off of my belly so that it resonates louder and better. I think you have one on your guitar, right? Yeah. All the cool kids have one. Rob. My parents are also here tonight. Uh, give a wave. Right up front center right there. Hey, come on, wave. All the way from Southwest Minnesota, where I grew up, great place. Yep, they're helping me move this weekend because um, I am leaving. Uh, well, this is this is why you are here, guys. Uh, uh, I'm leaving in a couple weeks, so they're taking a bunch of stuff back with them. Um, I've been in Michigan for eight years now, and um, I'm not married, much to the disappointment of my mother. Um, so this is. Uh, a song for her, and uh, just a reminder to myself too, I guess. <laughs> you got a good setup there? Just good? Yeah, I feel good. You feel good? Yes. How fast are you feeling? Not fast. 120? 130? Yeah. 130? You can't do one. Mandolinists always make jokes about how long it takes them to tune their instrument, which is partially true, but it's also just a delay tactic when they're not sure how the next song starts. One, 
two, three. He plays mandolin better than anybody. Plays guitar better than anybody. Plays, have you played fiddle yet? No, you'll play fiddle later. And you're singing. This is the best here. That's it. I was living with Will a couple years ago. Uh, I think I said in the program, but it's named after the little creek that runs through the farm that I grew up on, uh, called the Sham Pepper Dam, because that's what bluegrass songs are named after, I guess. Ready?
Will now. He'll be back. Absolute rat's nest up here of chords. Doing good? How am I? I'm doing great. I'm having the time of my life. Great.
doesn't plow no more I seen him walking down to the super red store Guess he lost that neck He forgot that song Woke up one morning and his mule was gone So come on you rags and keys You guys, thank you very much. Uh, this is our last one. This is this is this is the old the old the old group. Get up here. I don't want to end that. I don't either. There's more. There's always more. Um, let's see. Like the shell game up here with all the mics. Which one is which? So you know this one's wrapped around there. And then this will be good. You feel like uh, feel like you're in with us, Rob? I'd love, love for you to be closer. That's a little too close. <laughs> I love you, but not that much. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> Uh, Rob Laplaca, Will Mao, again, and Betsy Bray. And thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is, like I said, the most self-indulgent thing I could possibly think of to do. And it's just so much fun to have people here. <laughs>
Thank you all so much. Thank you. Will, Betsy, Rob, David Baker, David Molinari, Mark Lindell, uh, John Bratt, Annie Bukowiecki, Michael Bukowiecki, just Karen Vandenacker. I'm missing someone, but this is so much fun. Thank you all. My parents, of course, obviously. Okay, 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 okay. I was hoping you'd ask. Uh, I got two more songs. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Like I said, the most self-indulgent thing here. Um, they are, uh, let's see, the first one is by Josh Ritter, um, who's an American uh, folk songwriter and novelist, as I found out recently, um, who borrows a lot from like early American folklore in a lot of his songs. So a lot of characters and storylines he's borrowed. Um, for this first song, which is uh, about the problem of evil, in a way, which is one of my favorite topics. Uh, and the second one is by Gillian Welch. Betsy and I sang Hard Times. That was by Gillian Welch and David Rawlings as well, so obviously a big fan of hers. Um, so that one's called Dear Someone. This one is Folk Bloodbath. These mics. <laughs> I can't. No, nope, we're just going to leave it. Lewis Collins took a trip out west when he returned. said to Delia, that's the problem with life, there's people always leaving, just as all the folks alive, the angels laid her away. When the townspeople heard that Delia was dead, all them gentlemen
backyard leap With Lewis Collins at her hand And Stacker Lee at her feet The angels laid her way Not of Delia's bed grew briars And not of Lewis's bed arose Out of Stacker Lee's came Stacker Lee's Cold, lonely ghost The angels laid them away And I'm looking over rooftops and I'm hoping that it ain't true That the same God that's looking out for them is looking out for me and you The angels laid them away Yes, the angels laid them away Oh, the angels laid them away Thank you all again. There is some refreshments and almond banquet from the Edgerton, Minnesota bakery uh, in the back.